morning everyone. It's currently almost 2.30 a.m. on my birthday and I can't sleep. So I figured since I promised it anyways, I would go ahead and do my One Direction concert story time video. Which is long overdue since the concert was last year, but better late than never. Okay, so this was towards the end of my senior year, and I apologize in advance if I take a while to process my thoughts. I am beyond tired, and yet I can't sleep, so I'm having a hard time thinking. Anyways, and I had seen ads on TV for One Direction's concert, and I kept telling my mom, I want to go to this, we have to go. And she didn't really say anything one way or the other. She just not ignored me, but just kind of blew me off and went on to the next subject, whatever that happened to be. So a few weeks went by, and graduation got closer and closer. And I didn't forget about the concert, but I honestly kind of put it in the back of my mind because I had, like, a choir trip to Disneyland to worry about, I had grad night to worry about, I had graduation, the senior cruise, senior picnic, blah blah blah, graduation rehearsal, all that fun stuff. So I kind of put the concert in the back of my mind and didn't think about it. And then came graduation day. I was thinking about the concert a little bit during the ceremony, but not too much because I was wearing heels on grass and I didn't want to trip and sprain my ankle. And then while we were sitting in the grass getting everybody's names read out, or not sitting in the grass, but there were folding chairs on the field. Like, the stage was here, and the our seats were back here, and then the families and everything was like back here all the way back to the other end of the field. <laughs> Anyways, so as we were sitting in our chairs getting everybody's names read out, I was thinking about the concert again. And I didn't know that my mom had or was planning on getting me tickets. Because she knew how much I love One Direction and how badly I wanted to go. So, graduation came and went. She never said anything. And then we went out to eat with my family and a friend of my family's and her kids and her husband and stuff. Right after the graduation ceremony ended. And I was getting presents from everybody, which I really appreciate it, obviously. And then I got a present from my mom that was a little black piece of paper that had silver writing on it, and it said something along the lines of, this is good for two tickets to One Direction. And at first, it didn't click what she meant by that. Like, I kind of read it, and it kind of registered, and I started to move on, and I looked at it again, it's like, wait a minute. And then I started squealing and jumping up and down and ran around the table we were at to go hug her, because I was on the side closest to the drink machines, and she was on the other side of the table with my aunt and uncle and all that stuff. And I went to run around the table to hug her, and I broke my heel. <laughs> But I didn't let that stop me. So I like hugged her and was squealing my head off. And I asked her later that night why she had gotten me the tickets. Because I wasn't doing very well in school. Classic senioritis. And I don't remember what answer she gave me. I think it was because I like really worked my butt off there towards the end of the year and like got my grades semi sorta up again so she got me the uh, thing that said I would be getting tickets 
and like my whole table was freaking out because they knew how much I love these boys because they are honestly my life. So we got or we bought the tickets on Ticketmaster and we had to go in the nosebleed seats because we waited too long to get tickets and everything on the floor was sold out, which I later found out my girlfriend was at the exact same show, but she was on the floor right near the boys and I wanted to choke her. She is one lucky ducky. But anyways, so we ordered the tickets off the Ticketmaster website and it took so long to finally get them. Like, they were supposedly sent out once and we never got them. Like, I think they got delivered to the wrong house. So we had to call Ticketmaster back, request that they send the tickets to us again. And then we finally got them, like, um, hold on, I'm trying to think here. The concert was July the 9th, and I think I... I remember I was in driver's ed when my mom finally got the tickets. So it was either the... It was somewhere in between the 5th and the 7th of July that we finally got the tickets. So like two to four days before the concert. And my mom sent me a picture of them and we had a break in driver's ed and I ran over to my teacher and showed him because I had said right from the get-go that I was a One, Di uh, One Direction fan, so he knew. And he was all happy for me. And then everything, nothing really happened until the day of the concert. And the night before, I could not sleep at all because I was just so excited. It was like, this is really happening. I'm actually going to get to see the boys. And this was their first concert after Zayn left the band. So, it was, there was kind of a little air of concern, I guess, riding over the concert, because it's like, are they going to be okay without him? Or, wait, no. It wasn't their first concert without him, but it was their first American concert without him. But anyways. So, the day of the concert came. <laughs> And I was hopping all over my house. I was freaking out. I was like trying to get my hair straightened and everything else to make sure I look good. God only knows why. But anyways. And I had on my uh, black dress with the silver stripes on it. Which, if any of you went to school with me, you've seen that dress at least once. Maybe twice. And I may have had leggings on, I don't remember. Because one of One Direction's songs is a little, back, a little black dress. So, I had on a little black dress. So, my dad had the day off work. Because it was a Saturday. So, we left the house at about 1. And the concert wasn't supposed to start until 7. So, but we ended up driving up to San Diego, Qualcomm, and traffic was ridiculous, as is to be expected. Like, we stopped at McDonald's before we actually went to Qualcomm, and even the line there went out all the way from the registers, out the front door, around the building. <laughs> It was that bad, and the lines for the bathroom don't even get me started. But anyways, so we went to McDonald's, and the line was crazy ridiculous, and it took forever to get our food and get seated and all that stuff. And there was a guy outside selling One Direction t-shirts, and my mom was telling me to get one, but I didn't, because I'm one of these people that if somebody spends, like, a lot of money for something. I don't want to add on to that. 
So she'd already spent like $200 each on these tickets. And then she wanted me to get a t-shirt. And I didn't want to tack more onto that. So I was just like, you know what? I'm okay. I'm going to the concert. That's all I really need. And literally, the whole McDonald's was a sea of girls in One Direction t-shirts. And I was like the only one who wasn't wearing one. And it's like, well, shoot. Of course, now I have one that I just got in the mail. And I love it so much. But anyways. So we got out of McDonald's. Getting out of the parking lot was a nightmare. And then trying to get into Qualcomm, there was a really huge line. And instead of my dad dropping us off where he was expecting to drop us off, because there was like a designated drop-off area, he ended up letting us out of the car about halfway to the drop-off area. And we just walked over to the arena from there. And once again, my mom asked me if I wanted to get like a tour book or a shirt or something, and again, I said no, which I am majorly regretting now, because I wanted a tour book, and I didn't get one, and then after the concert, they hiked the prices, so it's like, yeah, no thank you, but anyways, so we ended up walking up to the stadium, and my mom has knee problems sometimes, so she got one of the security guards and asked him if there was like a uh, handicapped entrance or whatever because her knee was really bugging her that day she was practically limping and he took one look at her and took our tickets and walked us over to the ticket checker and just stopped everybody else that was in the line told the ticket person to let us through like, we got our bags checked and everything else. And everybody that was in the line was just looking at us like, what the heck? And I just kind of looked at my mom like, okay. And then it took forever, because that was our first time at Qualcomm. It took forever to get to our seats. Because we literally walked around the whole stadium trying to find the club section, I think. And it took forever, but we got there about an hour before the concert started. And I was texting my friend Kim, and we were both freaking out about the concert, and she was like, oh my god, you're so lucky! And then the opening act came on, which was Icona Pop, and ugh. Like, nothing against them personally, I just don't like their music, and they just dragged on and on and on, and it's like, just shut up already, get off the stage, and bring my babies on. But they didn't. So they performed for about half an hour. So from 7 to 7.30. And then after that, they had a bunch of commercials and music videos and stuff playing on the video screens. So we had to go through like an hour of that. And every other commercial was a Honda commercial because Honda was sponsoring the tour. So, after about an hour of that, the fireworks finally went off to signal the start of the show, and as you can imagine, the whole arena went batshit. <laughs> Myself included. <laughs> and the guys finally came on stage, and my mom and I just looked at each other, and my mom mouthed, thank God, and it's like, I know. But I was singing along already, so I couldn't really talk, so I just kind of nodded, like, yeah, tell me about it. And, pardon me for jumping all over the place, but before the concert, or not before, but between when Icona Pop left the stage and when One Direction went on, like, every few minutes, there would be a uh, false alarm, I think. And literally, the whole arena started screaming. And the girls that were on the floor would, like, run towards, I guess, one of the field entrances. I couldn't really see. And my girlfriend told me 
that it was because Liam's mom showed up. I don't know how true that was because I didn't see her, but I'll take her word for it. But that must have happened about six or seven times in the course of an hour. It's like, don't you guys want to save your voices for the actual concert? Of course, when the guys came on, they did not disappoint. And Liam called a fan's mom on the phone, which was amazing and funny. And Harry fell over right in the middle of the song, the poor baby, and he blamed it on the carpentry of the stage. And then once the concert ended, the crowd was so crazy because everybody was trying to get out at once. That it was literally like a school of fish. You couldn't get where you needed to go. You had to like go with the flow, so to speak. So my mom and I ended up completely on the other side of the parking lot from where my dad was. Who, by the way, had one direction drive right past him on their way out. And I was so jealous. But anyways. So we ended up on the complete other side of the parking lot. So we had to walk all the way over to my dad's car and we started it off walking the wrong way and then we had to turn around and go all the way back and then I kid you not once we got back to the car it took two stinking hours to get out of the parking lot and we ended up just sitting in the parking lot and taking a nap it was that bad and then we ended up going to IHOP at like two in the morning because the concert didn't end until like 11.30 give or take. So we were at IHOP at like 2 in the morning having coffee and pancakes and blah 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 and my throat hurt so badly but it was so worth it. The only problem was I didn't have the phone that I have now at the concert so I my phone didn't have a zoom function so I got some really shitty pictures. It sucked. But, at least I got to go to the concert, and hopefully, when the boys come back from their hiatus, fingers crossed, I'll get tickets again, hopefully, so my mom and my dad can go with me instead of just my mom. And hopefully, I will... I completely lost my train of thought. I'm sorry, this is what happens when I'm tired. I can't think. Anyways, um... Oh. Hopefully I'll get something from the merch store next time, because I am still kicking myself about that a year later. Oh well. Okay. I'm gonna go now, because this birthday girl needs her sleep big time. Sorry it took so long to get this video out. I just got really busy and forgot about it. Like I'm rolling in college and blah 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 and yeah. So, love you all. See you next time. Bye.